Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Paranology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a stock that looks like it's about to go crazy today and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of last night's video right after the intro. All right, y'all, right off the bat, again, before we begin, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm, as always, okay? So let's get started. So right now, the market is pushing up. That buyer stepped in overnight. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to get that red day that I wanted all the way over here, unfortunately, but that's all right, though. Again, the momentum wants to keep going higher. Um, today, look for day trading opportunities some swing trading opportunities as well we will cover it in this video but right now the market the market is still looking bullish all right it's still looking all right i'm not not bearish as of like right now with the way it's looking okay so the first one the stock that is about to go crazy today that all of you should be keeping in your watch list that stock is f s l y all right and the reason why I want to mention this one, um, when I want to put this one in your radar is because of this. If you go on here on the four hour time frame, right? There is this very bullish pattern that actually broke out yesterday and it pulled back just a little bit and held its price, right? And right now, right now it looks like it wants to run. There was some news on the 7th about a partnership with this other company, as you can see right here um octa so that that seems like bullish news and the pattern again we focus on the pattern mostly here and then we look at the news later but i like it i like the way the stock is looking um it's been beaten down for quite some time right um every time it has a run up it gets annihilated it had the cycle way back here right and then again it's having one right now so keep that one in your watches for your recovery where could this thing go Honestly, we could easily see this thing go all the way up to like to this region right over here between 77 and like 90 bucks um, Earnings is in like a month. I think is in three weeks. So I'm not too worried about it um, best case scenario We actually see a pre anticipatory run into earnings and we see the stock somewhere over here before whatever happens to earnings happens All right, so um, this is the stock for this video now. Let's talk about you guys stocks of interest the very first one that we're going to be covering somebody asked me to do a review on the video all right and the video had a very very monstrous run over here right along with your our favorite stocks like your paypal your square your amazon and uh yeah the video and right now it's, it's looking like uh it's looking like it's strapping a lot of the short sellers who kept holding puts over here hoping for nvidia to tank to like 600 dollars. this is not a good look for y'all like if you're holding puts i'm pretty sure if you're holding puts you will cover immediately and if i think that you're gonna cover and i honestly you you really should because you're not in a good spot right now is this thing going to tank with the way the market is looking at this point right now i don't think so worst case scenario we go back down to like um 620 we go sideways and then friday we see a major push upwards all right this is not looking good for short sellers especially if you're shorting the video at the moment um did the stock get upgraded over here yes it did um some analysts again like i say these analysts they provide the very honest opinions about these stocks so take it with a grain of salt but some analysts um upgraded the stock to 750 bucks all right and the stock is uh is, is moving quite well right now so i will be watching this one for a potential day trade maybe even a swing trade towards like the 650 area all right so um keep this one on your watch list for for today now another stock that somebody asked me to do a review on that stock is crsp crispr therapeutics all right and CRISPR Therapeutics is currently beaten down by like 60%. I think it's by 60%. 50%, okay, 50%. So it's in this region where we tested, it tested the support level once, twice, and then three times. It showed a very bullish engulfing candle. And now it's kind of uptrending right now. It's uptrending, I don't think it's gonna collapse anytime soon. 
it is at a massive discount for any long-term investor who is looking to invest in this space in the CRISPR technology space um this is a great spot to accumulate honestly this is a wonderful spot to accumulate for a potential move all the way to like this region it has a lot of room over here let me make that one much bigger right here all right so um again for the long-term investors this is where you shine this is for you um the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video is gamble and gamble right now gamble actually gave out it broke out and then immediately formed the bearish golfing candle and now it's it's looking like it wants to balance short sellers hopefully you're not continuously shorting this thing um it's opening up a little higher after our, um pre-market and i think i think all of the short sellers who didn't take their money the first time and who didn't take their money the second time they're gonna cause a short squeeze so i think it's going to go to 16 dollars potentially today all right um it didn't perform like i wanted it to before I actually thought it would break out and go all the way up here to like 21 bucks, but instead if it kind of like dropped and then it just went all the way down here and broke that level of support. But as of right now, again, if you're shorting this thing, I wouldn't be holding shorts. I really, really wouldn't. A potential squeeze might be coming up very soon. And even like it's just a very long stretch of consolidation before we potentially see this thing go back up again. All right. So as of right now, just short sellers, be careful longs there could be another opportunity for this one now not the next stock that we're going to be talking about in this video somebody asked about ddog all right and ddog data dog corporation um it looks like it wants to keep all trending there is a very bullish pattern right over here all right i think it has i think it has momentum um i do think it's gonna keep running all the way up to like to like a hundred maybe a hundred and five maybe all right but keep this one on your watches it does have room it is recovering let's look on the weekly it's kind of performing like a growth stock and long-term investors love this thing they buy up the steps right here and the steps right here and they're stepping up again right over here to make money on the recovery within the next few weeks so as of data dash data dog i actually like this one i like the way it's looking right now it's looking quite strong and support is holding so uh if you're a long-term investor and if you're already investing into this i hope that answers your question i'm definitely not bearish on this stock at all um the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video and that one actually i actually really really like it is bntx and BNTX right now has the potential to move a lot higher. It really, really does. Um, if you're going long on this thing, you can be very, very patient. I think it wants to continuously go higher. There was some news about um, about Pfizer and Moderna vaccine this morning. That's, they're saying that uh, the rare blood clotting events that occurred in J&J stock, which caused J&J stock to plummet. it, also has the same um, rate of occurrence in the Pfizer and the Moderna. And those two stocks are also like having a dip pre-market, all right? Um, is that dip gonna last for too long? I honestly don't think so. Um, this stock is experiencing it right now, right? It's experiencing it right now, but I don't think it's gonna last for too long. I think we're gonna consolidate here. Below 130, I would be, I would be worried. Again, if you're holding long, below 130 is where you should be concerned. All right. Again, manage your risk accordingly. But if it doesn't drop below that, then it's good for a continuation to the long side. All right. So that is my very honest opinion of these stocks. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps this channel grow faster and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on these pre-market analysis videos which are released from monday through friday at exactly 8 15 a.m central time 15 minutes before the market opens and a post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon if you're not following us on social media you can find me at paul and guma and i've had a knowledge lab on instagram and on twitter and facebook all right and lastly 
If all of this is brand new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I'll have some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step 1 to Step 3. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get 2 free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull. Use my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Pananology Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Enjoy the outro.